get out of here. Uh, you're beyond saving. Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Uh, today I just wanted to talk about like the intersection between uh, green politics, uh, green demonstrations, particularly ones that tie up uh, freedom of movement, like in walkways and on bridges and roads and stuff like that. Stuff that absolutely shuts down um, individuals' freedom of movement. And the utter lack of police um, enforcing the law when it comes to this. The repressive tolerance of the police when it comes to green protests and their continued disruption. They also disrupt stocks and things like that. And politicians, particularly from the Greens, tend to be involved in them as well. So, these bloody things are fucked on so many levels. I can think of at least four levels that they're fucked on. Uh, the first would be, obviously, you're allowing a political ideology, like, driven group to directly impinge on uh, Australians' freedoms by restricting their freedom of movement. That is probably the first and most, like, first and worst part of this whole performative repressive tolerance, tolerance nonsense thing. The, in my opinion, the next worst part of it is that it is directly adopted as a pet ideology by by the government, 
particularly the Greens Party in Australia. Like, all the whole... It's essentially a uniparty in Australia, Labour and Liberal. They are all generally left-leaning. It's like... It's just simply a matter of degree to the left they are. There are no proper right-wing parties in Australia. But... It is really, really messed up that the government's pet ideology is directly impinging on what should be a universal right, which is the freedom of movement um, of its citizens. Like, that is absolutely fucked. So the next is the repressive tolerance of the police with regard to this usually standing back and allowing it to shut down whole areas uh, for an extended period of time rather than just immediately removing it as the terrorism it basically is. I say terrorism because it is directly targeting uh, civilians, uh, just regular people. Uh, it is directly impinging on their freedom of movement uh, it is fine to go beside a walkway and, for example, hold up signs or hand out pamphlets or whatever. That's just political activism. That's fine. When you are stopping people in the walkway or stopping cars on the road with either trucks or netting or literally by sitting in the road, you are now directly imp impeding their freedom of movement. That, in my opinion, is, is terrorism. So, the next issue I have with it is obviously since, like, a ton of these green activists are usually politically involved, or at least politically connected to people in government, particularly in the Greens, uh, this could be used as a precedent to shut down legitimate protests. It could lead to policy and harsher laws, which, you know, repressively tol tolerantly will not be used to shut down green activists, but will get used to shut down legitimate protests. Like, in Australia, it's already fucked. You need sort of a, a permit to um, organise a protest. And if you're not impeding on people's freedom of movement, it shouldn't be an issue. And the very fact that you need a permit defeats the, the purpose of a protest. The fact that you would need permission from the government in order to protest the government, to me, is completely retarded. Like... Of course, Australia's government is, well, it's, it's bullshit, right? <laughs> In Victoria, and I'm not lying to you when I say this, they have a minister for changing men's behaviour with regards to domestic violence. That is as retarded as it, could, as it sounds. First of all, you have a taxpayer-funded position in the government that it, its purpose is to manipulate the behaviour of its people rather than to serve them. That, to me, is absolutely insane. The position was appointed, not elected. The creation of the position was appointed and not elected by the Australian people. That is bullshit. I'll just say the obvious here. There are already laws against domestic violence. If you commit assault on a woman, you will go to prison for assaulting a woman. What is this weird pre-crime bullshit? Is it an acknowledgement that the police are not good enough at their jobs to prevent this? Right I.e. that they only manage to get a low percentage of all the crime that we need this weird pre-crime minister which is all, like totalitarian as fuck it's fucking creepy it's at least authoritarian that we need this sort of bullshit 
obvious corruption siphon taxpayer money position in order to what fix the problem but anyway back to the greens okay the economic damage the greens are doing are serving their marxist goals for revolution it is straight up hurting people hurting the economy creating crises like okay so all the green shit is driving up energy costs when you drive up energy costs transportation for um food and all that sort of thing rises as well it rises for all stock for all shops so prices in general are going to rise that is basically increasing the cost of living um, as a result of that they're going to have to put more market controls into place that's going to cause a rise in inflation which is going to decrease the value of your money things are going to cost more again uh, they're deliberately making individuals more desperate uh, probably for ideological reasons to try and drive revolution if I had to say it is complete bullshit They are doing all of this post-COVID, post-lockdowns. And I don't know, re know if you guys remember, they were the ones pushing both vaccine mandates and lockdowns as hard as they could, as well as mask mandates. The Greens were really bad when it came to that shit. Um, after that, as if that weren't enough economic damage and wasn't going to, you know do enough damage in terms of inflation, in terms of business shutdowns, in terms of uh, rising energy costs, in terms of, you know, the market controls they would have to put in to deal with the lockdowns, the aftermath of the lockdowns. Then they push this absolutely stupid energy transition away from coal. By the way, we have a ton of natural coal. We export, like... We export it to China, it's like it's one of our exports, along with like iron ore. Like, we're doing that so we can import this green energy, which isn't that good, which uses child mines, slave labour. The wind turbine blades have this epoxy resin stuff in it, which can like seep into groundwater. Already recently in the news, we're hearing that a ton of Australian groundwater has been uh, in, like contaminated with some sort of carcinogenic material. They don't even know what it's from. Like, uh, they're just, they're a catastrophe. They're, they're using one fuck up to make another fuck up, and they're just just building this mountain of shit politics. So, like, let's go through it. They're the worst in terms of freedom. They're the worst in terms of money. Uh, they're the worst in terms of rights. They're the worst in terms of just not annoying you because they will shut down roads and things. They're costing you money making everything more expensive they're inflating everything else they're doing it for more power and they're supported pretty much by the mainstream left-wing politics in government and police that just sounds like shit to me that sounds like absolute shit Oh, and they're supported by the media too. They're completely supported by the media. Media gives them a ton of coverage for when they, you know, just try to, try to destroy, you know, really nice pieces of art in museums by gluing their heads and other stupid shit to it, which is straight out of the Cultural Revolution in China where they destroyed all art in order to destroy the cultural identity of the Chinese people in order to employ a more totalitarian government. Ah, oh, fucking mess. Complete, complete mess. Complete bullshit. You're an idiot if you vote for the Greens, in my opinion. Like, when it comes to taxpayer money, can we all agree that the left has a real problem with consent? Like, think about the amount of, like, 
leftist partisan shit that is funded by the tax pool of all people, including the right wing. That is just complete fucking bullshit. Like, there's certain social things we can all get behind, like, we think welfare is good, we think the idea of social medicine is good, if someone can't afford medicine we should all chip in so they can pay it and be healthy, yeah yeah that's fine. When it gets to like, partisan issues, like, abortion, like, I don't want to be collectively responsible for funding someone's abortion, I don't want to be collective res collectively responsible for like a doctor ripping apart a baby in a woman's womb because she was like promiscuous like with a pair of like gripping tongs like who who wants to be collectively responsible for that I was that was like never a freaking national survey or anything like that it was like never a referendum on that like that's complete fucking bullshit Like, the same same applies to, like, the, the green energy transition. Like, where was the where was the referendum for that? They kind of just pressed ahead with it. Like, it's just the state of the bloody uniparty in Australia. Oh yeah, we'll just press ahead with it. Doesn't matter what happens with inflation. Doesn't matter what happens with cost of living. Yeah, yeah, we've got a housing crisis. Yeah, yeah, we've still got mass immigration, which is making the housing crisis worse. Oh yeah, yeah, we're still getting uh, Muslims in from Pakistan and Gaza or whatever, and we're directly funding uh, Israel as it deals with a proxy war. Oh yeah, yeah, they've, they've never had a problem with global terrorism before, and like, you know, attacking civilians directly. It's not like they've always done it in every war, including like Afghanistan and Russia, uh, including Bangladesh, including in India the Kashmir Wars, where they directly killed civilians. It's not like they're doing it in Nigeria, like... Globally, Muslims, when they're involved with wars, directly attack civilians. It's sort of like a pattern of, of contact, conduct with them. But, yeah, yeah, don't, don't worry, there was no referendum to see if we want to cut back mass immigration or anything like that. They're just going to push ahead with it under the assumption that it, you know, is good for GDP, even though they don't take into account how much of that actually comes from the taxpayer, how much of it comes from benefits. Like, there was like a study in Britain of the amount of Muslim woman, women that worked, and... What was it? It was like 60-70% of them uh, are on welfare. And look, that's fine if they're fleeing, like, let's say Pakistan or wherever. Pakistan, where recently a man was beaten and beaten and burned to death and dragged around by a crowd for a rumour that he desecrated a Quran. I mean, that's fine if they're fleeing from there. But if they're just you know, coming here and, what, intending to install Sharia law here, not integrating to Australian culture, like, it's a real issue. And, like, there was no referendum on it. It's just stupid, like, left-wing politics. None of us would have consented to had we known. And they've just pushed ahead without consent on the taxpayer dollar. And it's a disaster. It's it's predictably a disaster, and it has turned out to be a disaster. All right.
take any risks.
Well, I'm awake now.
What have we got, guys? What the hell's going on, people? I got fuck all over here. Shoot outsiders no! right on the site. God damn it!
Heads up! Huh! 